Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of The Bow Show. It's The Bow Show, baby. Today, I have another very special guest. They keep on coming, Kyle Ball Harry, Senior Director of I Don't Know and Broadcast Services. What's the first part of your title? Game Production. Game Production and Broadcast Services. Thanks for coming to the show, sir. Thank you very much. Great to be here. Let's rewind the clock. And let's go back to your career. You played for Minnesota Crookston for four years, Bemidji for one, and you were a goalie. I was. If, if I was to come on you one-on-one, -on -one, you know I played for the Pistons, you know I got what it takes. What would happen nowadays? Poke check, you wouldn't have a clue what was coming. Nobody poke checks anymore. You would be shocked and the right hand, right hand would shoot out the stick. I'd probably miss the puck and hit your skates and then we'd have a collision in the net. You're a big dog here. You know, we call you ballsy here in town because you got what it takes. And you know, we, we, we look at everything, just so you guys know, everything you see on the Jumbotron at Jets games and whatnot, that is timed to a T and perfect every night is largely credited to my friend Kyle Ball Harry. What's your funniest Jumbotron moment? Cool. So let's clarify something. Jumbotron is actually a brand name of scoreboard. Okay. So, so it's actually just a, well, it's actually a Panasonic center hung pa Panasonic center hung scoreboard. Absolutely. So uh, funniest moment, man, there's been so many. Um, I remember a certain host putting a, well, not putting, uh, a kid in the dryer but the kid jumped in the dryer and uh, that's obviously something you don't want to promote out there to the parents out there so everyone was a little horrified the kid won the dryer and jumped in it um, to celebrate um, numerous hilarious kiss cams you know I think I, not a hilarious moment but the uh, fan versus fan with Proppy yeah, uh, yeah. was was truly kind of a special moment that mm -hmm. maybe it wasn't funny but it was it was one of those mm -hmm. once-in-a-lifetime moments mm -hmm. kind of thing let's be fan number one We see at games, and we, you know, you know, you got the Jets logo under the home team, and, and whatever logo under the away team. What would you say about adding another logo, maybe in the corner of the jumbotron, just the Bo Show face, you know, for fans to look at because people are requesting it, and I'm just throwing it out there. But I don't. I, what do you think? I'm struggling with that at the moment a little bit. Okay. Um, maybe if you had a mustache. I can grow one, probably. Let's let's revisit when you've got the stash, like a thick. Stash. It can maybe it can be fake, probably. Hey, no, no, it's no. got it's got to be real. This is the most anticipated question of the episode: Is the noise meter fake? Does it actually go up when we cheer louder? Uh, certain ones do, absolutely. Yes. Not fake at all. In fact, Not when fake. you see the dB meter come up there, that's all real. When we just say make noise, get crazy. That's all just generated from a graphic and everybody gets loud and like yeah. that. But the actual DB meter, DB meter that you see at the games is legit. What color were your pads when you retired? Because I heard from a very special someone, <coughs> Mr. MC, Mr. Mark Chipman, that they were brown. Were they brown? No, they were not were brown. Were they brown? No, when I hung them up, I had a pair of Vaughn Legacies. They were white and they were beautiful. All and white? And they weren't up to my waist. They were only a few inches above my knee. You played for the Southeast Blades, which went through a couple transition processes, but is now the Steinbeck Pistons, which, like I said, was the former Southeast Blades, mm -hmm. which was your former team. Yes. I am basically, because I just finished four years with the Steinbeck Pistons, mm -hmm. so could you say, could you argue that I'm basically a young you? <laughs> if we fast forward, Whatever, however many years, is this, am I, are we switching places? Well, you are from are the we right down the line? side of Winnipeg, right? Yes. You're in the River East area. I'm on the right side. Tons of character people grow up in that part of town. No yes. doubt about it. Yeah. But I'm a goaltender by heart. Okay. And that changes things okay. completely. The one requested question we had today was from Dwayne Green in, Tr in the True North Youth Foundation. Minnesota Crookston, which was the team that you played for as goaltender, played against the U of M, which was Dwayne Green's team back a long time ago. The final score was, I don't know if we should say it. Now I know where you got that 13, 13 number from. 13 nothing. And no, 13 to 2. 13 to 2. And do you have anything you'd like to say to Greener, Dwayne Green, in response? 
I'm pretty sure Greener did not have a shot on goal in that game, and they had 85 shots that game. You know, he's touted as a highly offensive defenseman. He tells everyone he was the Bobby Orr of the MJHL and, and Bobby Orr of, of the Canada West Hockey, but I swear, I don't think he had a shot on goal that game. In mm. fact, he might have been benched for part of that game because mm. he might have been on, on the ice for both of our goals. Yeah. Both of our goals on seven shots. I think Greener was out there for both and looking quite slow and unagile mm. as that happened. So off season is the most important season. Kyle, you're here at camp today. What can you say about camp? You know, this this might be your first time. A lot of people here haven't seen it that much. What's your first impression as you come around here and walk around camp? Yeah, I know my first uh, time here to Camp Manitou. I've been here for a couple of years coming to our True North uh, get togethers and when mm -hmm. they built it. Uh, it's actually a really incredible place and, and I'm actually really amazed at the energy of the staff here and, mm -hmm. and just the overall commitment to um, making it great for whoever comes here, whether it be adults or kids or whatever it might be. And, a climbing wall, a hockey rink, uh, man, there's just so many things here. And what a what a what an amazing safe place for uh, any parent, any adult to send uh, themselves or or youth because it's it's just such an all around great place and filled with great people. Totally great people. Weird. This is Mr. Kyle Ball Harry, aka Ballsy, aka Two Pad Stack Man. AKA, you know, Minnesota Crookston lost 13 nothing but played his best game 13 ever. 13 to 2. 13 to 2 but played his best game ever with 140 shots. This is who he is and he is a big part of our success as a club and organization. And uh, just what a job that you do behind behind the scenes on the Jumbotron nice. at the rink. And uh, what a man that he is. And thank you so much for coming on the show yeah, today, thank sir. Thank you very much, Well, Appreciate it. Everything was fantastic. Awesome. Uh, appreciate it. I'll be watching future episodes, of course. Yeah. And uh, seeing my colleagues, seeing some more players, seeing some uh, good times out here. And you're doing a fantastic job. Right on. Thanks, Ballsy. And thank you, you guys. Thanks to you guys for tuning in for another episode of The Bow Show. See you next time, guys.